Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another College Fun Dad quick video. I um, realized that I haven't done a, I haven't done a uh, update on any of the cash apps that I do uh, really lately. I've been mostly talking about uh, Uber and stuff like that. Um, and I've kind of taken a break from Uber just because I've been getting kind of frustrated. But I did want to um, talk about some of the apps that I've been doing and I've given up on some. So I'm gonna do two videos actually. I'm going to do one on the cash apps um, or uh, earning websites, I guess for a lack of a better term, um, that I no longer use and why. Um, I've, I've tried so many. And then also the cash app sites, um, really most of them aren't paying out very well um, or aren't paying out at all anymore. So I don't know if that was just a fad or what is going on. I haven't seen anything new really uh, pop up that I've tried uh, that looked legit. So that's kind of disappointing and uh, kind of discouraging. So it's getting a little harder to get that passive income to add to the old college fund. But uh, real quick, without further ado, let me run through some of the ones that I have been trying and the ones I'm not doing anymore and why. First up, we have the Vindale Research. Um, I did cash out with this, but I find that it is too hard and too cumbersome to earn until you get to the, the point where you can actually cash out. So as far as time versus reward, um, I'm not doing it anymore because I just don't, I just don't feel it anymore. Um, a while ago, it was, it was a lot easier to earn. They had um, emails where you just had to click on emails and you earn that way. There are videos, uh, but now it's really filling out credit card applications and doing surveys, and I just I, I'm not I'm not into it. So I've given up on Vindale. The other one is Inbox Dollars. Inbox Dollars is also legit. Um, I've cashed out with that, um, and there are a multitude of ways to do it. But again, I feel like how I do things that it is too cumbersome to get to the point where you can actually gash out. Um, but it is legit. I mean, if you do want to put forth the effort to do it, it is there. You can get points for doing things like web searches. Um, I found that the printing off and using their coupons works some of the time. Uh, they say they'll give you 10 cents for every time you use one of their coupons. That didn't work all the time. It works some of the times. Um, they have some videos. Uh, it's not so great. Um, and then it was a lot of uh, download download these games uh, and pay a little money and they'll give you some money back or do surveys. And again, I'm just I'm just not into it at this point. Um, next up, I have Survey Savvy, also legit. I've cashed out um, a lot of, a lot of times with Survey Savvy. Um, it is a it's a survey site. Um, it is actually the very first one I used. Um, I've never had any issues with it. But again, I'm just not into filling out surveys. And so I've given up on that one. Next up is step bet. This is one where you, uh, you put an app on your phone that tracks how far you walk every day. Um, there's other ways to do it. You can do like the Apple watch and, or the Fitbit. Um, and that all works too. And, and syncing it together. But the gist is you are betting, you're going to put in 40 bucks or whatever. And as long as you hit your daily and or weekly goals, um, you will get something at the end. You will make money or you're guaranteed not to lose money. But if you don't make it, you, they take your 40 bucks. So it is, it, that is the bet part. Um, and it's legit. And, and I have found that it is easy to cash out. They don't give you a hard time. Um, every time I've done it for the, for the periods, which is usually six week, six week, six or seven week runs, um, I've never lost, but I don't think I've ever made more than five, six bucks doing it. And I found that the pressure of making sure that you're hitting those goals every single day is, isn't worth it. Um, if you, if you walk all the time and you're super active, the phone takes that into consideration and your goal is higher than that. So you always have to do more than you typically do. So for all those who are, you know, walking downtown or, or just walking around the town, walking dogs, whatever it is, 
understand that it's not a set goal for everybody. It is an increased goal based on what you do. Uh, but again, app is easy to use, completely legit. Um, I just didn't, I didn't care for the, you know, waking up at 11 o'clock going, man, did I check my step bet uh, to make sure that I actually got it done. So um, I didn't, I didn't care for that. Next up is Earn Crypto. Um, I was trying to earn some Bitcoin, uh, basically by doing like video, watching videos and, and easy stuff like that. I I never got to the point where I could actually cash out with this. Um, there is a point where you can cash out, um, but there's also um, uh, they also take like processing fees, and so I gave up after a while, figuring that it's, it's really it's difficult to get to the point where you can cash out, and then once they take the fees out, is it actually worth it? And for my for my time, it's not. Um, I didn't I didn't care for that one. After that, there's iConsumer. This goes along with the Bitcoin. Um, I did cash out with iConsumer. Um, iConsumer gives you uh, Bitcoin and it gives you stock in their company um, as reimbursement for um, buying things through their website, like an affiliate thing. Um, it was easy to use. Uh, everything's laid out really easy when you do cash out your Bitcoin um, there is a service fee uh, the you know the stock is basically worthless so I'm you know that shouldn't even take that into consideration um, but it's legit but as far as getting you know cash back for your sales um, that's not the best site to do so at least from my research I, I feel like there, there are other options that are better but it is legit and they do pay out. Next up, I have Feature Game followed by um, uh, Bounty Game. They're, they're basically the same company. And if you ever played the games, uh, they're, they're run exactly the same. The graphics are the same. Um, they were legit for a while. I was cashing out and getting PayPal, um, but they stopped paying out, so I stopped stopped playing with them. They're, it's a Chinese company and, and nothing against Chinese companies, but... Uh, they kind of run by their own rules and uh, they just, you know, they kept the game going so you could uh, still f look at their ads and stuff like that. But when it came time to actually cashing out, there was, it was a uh, crickets. So no go from there. Next up was M plus or um, M places app. Uh, they changed their name throughout it uh, a couple times. Um, I used to love this app. I did. Uh, it was fantastic. I called it my red light app because every time I was at a red light, I would do a check-in at some place that was over there, and I would rack up the points, and I was cashing out constantly. Um, but at one point, they made it harder to cash out. They made it more expensive to cash out. They took more points, um, and then eventually, it just stopped cashing out at all. So I've, I took that off my phone. Next up is Rabadaba, which is kind of a fun name. They changed their app and how they were doing things. Um, it initially was like a social media app where you would get points or coins and people would, could, would also um, be able to tip you coins based on just photos that you take just like you would through Instagram or something like that. Um, and from that to basically like a pet app. Um, so you used to be able to cash uh, PayPal. And then once it turned into like a take pictures of your pet app, then you could cash out for points and rewards related to like pet flies. And that wasn't, that wasn't what I was after. So, um, not, you know, nothing against, uh, dogs. I'm a dog person and, and I love animals, but, uh, this is for the uh, college fund and, and nothing more. So I, I deleted that app. Next up is app Nana. There are a few apps like this out there. These are apps that pay you to download and try games. Um, App Nano was good. It's 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 legit, but I have found that it has gotten harder to get points for free games. Um, they'll still do lots of rewards, like uh, cashback rewards, if you pay for games. Um, but again, this is this is trying to. Uh, make money for the, the college fund, not spending money to mess around. So those are that's that's kind of my my main list of, of things that I've been trying that used to work 
or still do work that I don't find uh, as rewarding as I did at one point. So uh, if you would, please uh, like, subscribe, comment. Um, let me know if you guys are are having similar issues or, or if I've said something that uh, you don't agree with. Um, also, I mean, this is a forum, so sharing is caring. If you guys have other apps out there, um, please let us know what's going on. We'll check them out, and uh, hopefully um, we can find some more that we haven't seen lately. Uh, like I said, it's getting it's getting a little uh, little tight out there. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, appreciate you. Thanks. Bye bye.